Good morning, I'm back from Glastonbury, which was last weekend. I had an amazing time, and this is now the weekend before I go back to work, which really, really sucks. So I'm trying to, still trying to adjust to like regular time again, and just sort of have an easy weekend. Sarah's at work, but she should be home fairly early in the evening, so maybe we'll do something and catch up with her later. But for now, I'm gonna be making a bacon grilled cheese for breakfast, because I can, it's the weekend. Best thing about adding bacon to a grilled cheese is that you can cook the bacon first and then use the fat to cook the sandwich. And there we go, slightly fatter than is probably ideal, but looks really good, so I'm excited for this. While I was at Glastonbury, I took a whole bunch of photos, and I've processed most of the ones for the company that I went with, but now all that's left are the ones that I took when I was off seeing acts, and just things that I wanted to take photos of, so I'm gonna go through and do some of the processing on those now, because while I've been back for a few days, I really wasn't in the mood to go through this, because there's quite a few of them. So I'm gonna be doing that for a bit now. Should be quite good, and I'm pretty pleased with some of the ones I've already processed. I uh, put a couple up on Instagram already. Um, so yeah, just gonna kind of go through the rest of them and fish out any of the really good ones, if there are any. Hopefully there are. <laughs> Taking a bit of bait from photos now to just sort of play some games and watch some stuff on Netflix. There are so many to go through, purely because um, I find my easiest way to get photos at music stuff is to just hold the button down. Stick a nice high shutter speed, hold the button down, end up with 20 photos, maybe you'll get like a good moment out of one of them. And I've got some that I'm pretty happy with, so... It's great, it's just a case of going through literally like uh, 3,000 photos from a few days worth of festival. Saw these at Tesco yesterday, and I'm pretty excited to try them actually. They do Pringles in sweet chili now. This could either be really great or really awful. Uh, I mean, I like sweet chili sensations. They're good crisps. So I'm, I'm really not sure how this will go, but let's give it a go. Okay, so they're pretty great. Really happy with buying those actually. We'll be getting those again, and I really hope that they're not like a limited edition flavor. I really hope that they keep these for a long time because these are really good. Just having a little bit of a quick go at editing together some of the Glastonbury footage. Uh, I took some video while we were working, so I'm gonna try and edit that together into a movie. It's not really going very well though. Editing is definitely not my strong suit, so I think what I'm actually gonna do is probably pass this over to Sarah at some point and just be like, look, can you help me out? I've got some clips. Make this not terrible, because she's really good at that kind of thing, and I'm definitely not much for the editing. I just can't get my head around it. It's definitely something I like to keep trying at and trying to keep improving at, and I'm sort of getting better at some of our easier videos, being more able to see where cuts should go for that. But where this is assembling pretty much a montage of clips as a sort of creative way, not my kind of thing. It's really, really difficult. So I'm giving it a go, but I really don't like it so far. I haven't used it for a while, but it's still good to try and keep things up to date. My phone was nagging me saying that there was an update for the Osmo firmware, so I'm just gonna stick that on it. And it says it's gonna take half an hour, which is really annoying, because it says, oh, you gotta you know, keep it all connected and stuff, and that means that I've gotta sit my phone on, well, I'm not really on the side, but I've gotta keep this from turning off, and it doesn't really like when I put it down, it always beeps at me, so, oh. I hope it was supposed to do that. I really don't want to brick this. Doing firmware updates is always really scary because even though they're probably not going to go wrong, as soon as anything happens like the camera just dipping, you're like, hmm, maybe, maybe this is the time it's all going weird. So I'm just going to do some firmware updates. Probably going to do my big camera as well, actually, now that I think about it. I haven't really checked for firmware updates as often as I should have done, so I'm going to get everything updated, just do a little bit of kind of maintenance on my camera bag contents. Sarah's on her way home from work and I'm all out of beer so I'm just headed to the co-op to pick some up. I'll probably meet her on the way I think. I think our paths will probably cross but she's on her way home so we'll see her in a bit anyway. Hi everybody! Uh, I'm back from work. It's been a long day. I'm wearing my flamingo slippers already. If you haven't seen these you're missing out because they're amazing and they're from Primark. And I love them. And I just got in and I got a card from Sarah, who is my name twin. Who's one of our subscribers who's like pretty much my bestie, she just doesn't know it yet. Um, and she got me a card telling me good luck with my job hunt. That was really nice. I was really happy to get that when I got in. It made me feel better. And now, mm, am I hungry yet? Mm, have you eaten dinner yet? That made me jump. I thought it was coming from behind me. No. Have you had any yet? 
No, I haven't, no. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm gonna eat yet. Definitely wanna get a drink. And we're gonna watch Death Note, the original, but the English dub, because I don't like reading when it comes no, to- No, you can't read subtitles quick enough. Yeah, no, I can't read them quick, especially Japanese ones, because they talk so fast. So, because there's a new series coming to Netflix, isn't there? The live action version? Yeah, it's like a movie, not a series. Oh, movie. So I want to watch that, but I want to know the story first. So we're watching the OG one. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. You had a good weekend without me so far? Yes. Maybe soon. You'll have to spend all your weekends with me. That's Don't the dream. My day. Well, I mean, currently you'll be spending all your weekends and all your weekdays and every day that you're here with me because job hunt's not going so well. But hey ho! Always look on the bright side. I have paprika Pringles, which I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> oh, boo, 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 boo. I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye. Why does my hair always look crazy when I turn the camera on? <laughs> I have decided that I'm gonna have some strawberries and meringue. Um, but the thing I don't like about strawberries and meringue is you have to crush the meringue. And I do it with my hands because I, that's how I do it, but I hate the feeling of meringue through your hands. It's like chalk on a blackboard. So I'm gonna do it because I want to eat it, but I don't like it. Oh no, there's no balls. Where's the bowl I want to use? Got my meringue-ness. Are they even in date? Mm, yes. That's good. Maybe I can just smash up with a spoon or something. That might be easier. Oh, it feels horrible. Ooh. Okay. Do I do it in my hand? I'll try with a spoon, see if that, that works. Will this work? Ah, uh, she works really well. Why do I put them through my hand now? Oh, this is the future. I've just discovered how well this works. Didn't even have to touch it. Yes. What's really weird is I obviously put it in my mouth to eat it, yeah, I just don't like touching it. works so well. I can't believe I've never done this before and I've always just crushed it in my hands. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut up some strawberries and I'm gonna eat some meringue. I'm gonna add a bit of cream. Cause, oh, I have double cream and whipped cream. Which one will I pick? Whip maybe? Hmm. Oh, two minutes to Love Island. I better hurry up. <laughs> I've decided to put on a face mask and I'm gonna use the exclusive blue Sonic the Hedgehog Glam Glow Mask. Oh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast. Gotta get all the coins. Rings. Gotta get all the rings. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. It's super expensive, so it better be good. <laughs> it's teeny tiny. How much do you think this teeny tiny bottle cost me? 14 pounds. How did you know that? That was just a really good guess. That was the exact amount that it cost, was 14 pounds. So it says, don't touch your hairline or your eyebrows. And apparently it's electric blue. Are you excited, Ash? Mm. Oh, look at the colour! <laughs> smells pretty good. Mm, it smells like coconut. Look at the colour of that. I also don't know why I did this with my left hand. I'm right handed. Oh, look at my brow! Well, that's gonna hurt you a lot. Is it? Yeah. I'll say that. No, it'll be alright, I'm sure. Yeah? Fantastic. Ooh. <laughs> so now I'll leave it to try. And then we peel it off. Okay, Dr. Manhattan. Huh? I don't know that reference. So I've had my mask on for about half an hour. It's so shiny. It's really metallic looking. It's really cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like the Silver Surfer for blue. For blue. Um, it says it's meant to peel off, but I don't believe it because it doesn't feel like it should peel off. It doesn't look like it has any edges either. No, I don't know if I didn't do it thick enough. I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give it a... Give it a go. Like, I don't know. I don't know. There's no good way to start. There you go, I found you a bit. There you go. Where? Oh, wow, okay. Oh! It 
Feels really weird. Yeah, I did it in one. I mean, but there's bits left on your face. <laughs> there's still quite a bit on my face. I'm sorry, we'll just put it back on. <laughs> no. No, does it feel. Oh, it does feel pretty firm. Oh, oh, wow, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> that feels very firm. Like, feel my apples on my cheeks. Oh. <laughs> Do I look like revitalized and I mean I know I still have a bit blue. Do I look fair? <laughs> that's that's really firm up there, like that's weird, like I d oh. <laughs> I just wanna get this bit of my nose. It's gone there forever now. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. No, it's not coming off. Yeah. You have to live like this. Yeah, it's forever. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel weird. <laughs> this is cool. I like this a lot. I might get some more when I'm in America, but I don't know if I'm going to pay the, like, the UK price for it. Definitely it's expensive. Not. Good morning, time for some breakfast. Today I am gonna have another grilled cheese with some bacon in it, but I'm gonna have some cereal first. So I'm gonna have some cinnamon cereal, but I've got some really good gold milk. I really like gold milk. It's incredibly creamy and is amazing. So I'm gonna have that first. Since the sun is out and it's really nice outside and this is my last day before going back to work, I'm just gonna sit outside. I'm gonna watch some stuff on the TV, have my sandwich in a second, which is still, the bacon's still cooking. And yeah, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy the sun, which is gonna be really lovely. A much better sandwich than yesterday. Yesterday's was uh, a bit big and a bit tall, so it didn't properly melt. But this one, much, much better. Gone for a bit of a change of scenery, so I found some grass and I've got my tablet, so I'm gonna tether it and watch some CSGO online outside in the really lovely weather. Because it is incredibly clear up there. That's probably just completely overblown and exposed, I don't know why I did that, but there's literally no clouds anywhere, so it's really, really nice. So, yeah, it's gonna be a nice afternoon. That was nice, started getting pretty hot, so I've come back home now and uh, just gonna play some games in the nice cool shade. Cause while the sun is lovely, it is getting pretty hot and intense out there. So I'm gonna take a bit of a break. I'm back from work, yeah! Well, I've been back for a little while now. In fact, I've been back like two hours. So um, I've made myself some dinner, which is, oh, hold on, better shot, just swoop around. I'm having some lasagna and some vegetables and I've got my flamingo shoes on still. Um, so I'm just watching some vlogs on YouTube. This is just a Alfie days, which, yeah. So I'm gonna eat this and then we need to edit the vlog from next weekend, last weekend, which I'm really excited about because it was the weekend with just me. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, remembering what I got up to in London because obviously I was there the, the first time it happened. So I'm gonna eat this, and then we're gonna do that. So we are editing the vlog, and since we don't have any vlogception in this one. Do we not? Well no, because we had to do the editing before I went to Glastonbury to get it all ready, so there won't be any any shots of you doing any editing in it. So we'll do this instead. I'm editing, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. tap, tap. I just wanted to show you my drink, because I have finally, after ages of wanting one, finally have like a spherical ice mold. So now I have spherical ice. And you can make square ice. And I can make square ice and jack shaped ice, but I like the sphere one. The sphere one's my favorite. It looks funny because of the displacement of the water, but it is, it is round. It is almost 12 o'clock and I have work pretty early tomorrow. Ash has finished his two weeks off, so he's back at work tomorrow. And I think this is where we're gonna end the weekend vlog. Um, we shall see you both next week, well, we will both see you next weekend because we have both got it off because we're gonna go see Little Mix. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I will see you next weekend. Bye.